Oxford Boyd St. John's as the 1A race comes to a conclusion. Let's go to Class 2A, the boys 1600 meter run and in this race. You always remember Hadley Splechter at the eight center. He is among the favorites, though he is uh, really lined up to the outside in the 1,600-meter run. Just saw him as a hero in an event just not too long ago. Trago Communities, Wendon Giefer, Luis Mendez from Salina Sacred Heart, Marine Academy's Trey Topham, Colin Williams from Marion, Syracuse Christopher Giancola, Cooper Mumford from Kansas City Christian, Stan County's Isaiah Barrera, Alex Harden from Valley Heights, Stan County's Francisco Corrales, Mitchell Lagoo from Heritage Christian, Opie's Camden Holting, Ethan Thompson from Meade, Opie's Nolan Redeker, Jaden Donson uh, from Bennington, and Slime Sacred Hearts, Isaiah Faber. There are your 16 participants in the run uh, for class uh, uh, two-way at 1,600 meters. Let's go down to Chet Couplin. Chet, you got, got, you got a guest, do you not? Yeah, special guest down here, Keisha Hall of Famer, Gary Siegel of Riley County. 33 years there, double-digit titles in cross country, a few state titles in track and field as well. He's retired, but not really retired. He's working today. What's going on? Well, I'm uh, on the jury of appeals, and they uh, just bring several of us retired uh, track and field coaches back and uh, have us work on uh, the jury of appeals to resolve issues uh, that come up during the meet. Well, guys, he's had some special athletes. In fact, one of them here 15 years ago now plays for the Oakland Raiders. Kind of weird to say that, even though Jordy Nelson to me is always a Packer. What was it like to have Jordy Nelson, and not only Jordy Nelson as a boy athlete, John McGraw, who also played in the NFL, was a state triple jump champion and I think still holds a record. Yeah, both of them have. Uh, Jordy's got two, uh, 100 and the 200, and John's got the triple jump. And, uh, you know, when you get athletes like that, we had uh, several at Riley County. Um, they come to practice. They work hard. Uh, obviously, they're talented. Um, and, and it's just a, a, a great opportunity for us as coaches to, to work with great athletes like that. We had the Mortimer sisters, also your son as well. But track and field, people that have never came here, they have no idea how special this is. This is a, a carnival to, to have all of these classes and be able to watch um, the talent from every class in the state of Kansas compete. And uh, it's if, if people have not ever been down here, they need to make a, a, a trip to come down to this meet. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. Enjoy retirement and uh, stay cool out there. All right, thanks. It's tough to do on a hot day. <laughs> thanks, Chad, with Gary Siegel, one of the better coaches, better known coaches in the state of Kansas at the high school level and all the talent that he used to coach. We're at uh, lap number three here, the boys' 1,600-meter run in 2A. And we've been watching this one develop. This is a pretty good bunch up at the front. And just to recently, in the last, uh, I'm going to say, last 300 meters did become basically a two-person race, and we recognize the one guy, right? Yeah. Hadley Splechter. Ethan Thompson. And then Ethan, who's the other guy? Ethan Thompson from Meade. All right. So Splechter and Thompson go shoulder to shoulder in the bell lap. We're going to see who's going to win this. Splechter just put a tremendous amount of energy in lifting his Yates Center team from what was fifth place at the moment to a first place and gold medal finish. And just looking at this, Ethan Thompson looks like he might be a little bit stronger because he may have a little bit left in the tank. We will see. Splechter and Meads, Ethan Thompson. What a duel this one is, Rod. Splechter, he reminds me of Chris Speaks. Speaks was a great runner at Colby, went down to Texas, ended up having a great running career there from Colby Community College. It just, it just doesn't look like he's working. And Boy. he is just pulling away. And he is making it look so easy. He is so relaxed, but still generates great turnover and great speed while looking like it's just another walk in the park. Hadley Splechter, 80 meters to go, getting chased by Ethan Thompson. Splechter pushes his lead to 15 meters, and he will win the boys' 1,600-meter run in Class 2A. Hadley Splechter wins the gold medal, and Ethan Thompson finishes second. And the rest of the field well behind. Hadley Splechter with yet another gold medal at a Yates Center.